Hello, welcome to our website. This is Dr. Robert Faust and we specialize in humic substances for health and for agricultural uses. My research on fulvic acid started in my agricultural research and with my contacts in China, Russia and other countries I discovered the fact that fulvic acid, what we call fulvic acid in English, or wujinsan in Chinese, is an ancient and modern medicine in China. First of all, wujinsan in Chinese means black gold medicine, and it's been used in traditional Chinese medicine. It's been in the Chinese literature since the Ming Dynasty, which is in the 1400s. And it is uh, widely used in modern China in an updated form. And they use the term fulvic acid along with the ancient term hujinsan, black gold medicine. Fulvic acid means nothing more than golden. It derives from the Latin word fulvicus, which means bronze or gold colored. It's really a fraction of humic substances, or humus, like the black stuff that's in the soil. Uh, that's humus. It's the end product of decomposition of organic matter by specific microorganisms. And compost would be a form of humic substances. Humic substances used in agriculture and for medicine in China and our products in the U.S., are extracted from ancient humus deposits which have been uh, stored in deposits which were covered it's like fossil compost so these products exist in China they, they have what they call humates which they mine in China we have humates in the United States and North Dakota and other states which are very similar and maybe a little better than the Chinese deposits. And from these deposits, the fulvic acid is extracted by a biological method proprietary to us at the Monolife Labs. The humic acids need to be in a very purified form because they tend to make the cell membrane more permeable. They enter the cell, they enter the cell nucleus they're the only substance that has low enough molecular weight to demutase free radicals at the level of the nucleus of the cell, the mitochondria. And most people just say they have more energy and they haven't felt this good in years. So it tends to just make people feel better and have more energy because it works on a cellular level at the powerhouse of the cell the mitochondria. It also works as a potent chelating agent if taken internally and that is it releases heavy metals. Now to be an effective chelator it has to be free from heavy metals and minerals to begin with which our product is. Our product is very pure you can see the analysis on our website It's free of heavy metals as per the requirements for medical grade fulvic acid in China, which has specific standards, and the most important one is it's free of heavy metals, and, and also other substances that are toxic, like uh, the kind of chemicals that are associated with petrochemicals, also aluminum, and, and, and other substances that are found naturally occurring in coal-like substances. True wujinsan is not fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is used in agriculture. Wujinsan is the medical term. It's used in Chinese medicine and it signifies a purified state of humic substance. Because humic substances can carry metals into the cells or chelate heavy metals and pesticides, industrial chemicals out of the cells. So we need to start with an unsaturated solution uh, and we don't claim that it has minerals or be a co colloidal mineral. That's a misnomer, the fact that, that it would be 
saturated with minerals or contain 74 minerals and be fulvic acid. It's just a complete contradiction in, in terminology. Humic acid is a cellular stimulant. It's an anti-aging compound because it contains polyphenols and amino acids. So the benefits from true fulvic acid or wujinsan is not from minerals. It's by increasing the availability of minerals. It's the living bridge between dead minerals in your food and the cells that absorb those minerals. It's crucial to health. It's crucial to life on earth. Um, it has many ben medical benefits, including antiviral effects. We cannot make any claims in the U.S. for any benefits from fulvic acid. But it is a traditional Chinese remedy and is effective as an anti-inflammatory substance to relieve pain and many other conditions. Burns, cuts, reduces, stops bleeding. The other products that we have that contain humic substances is humusoak. Now, humusoak is humic acid and fulvic acid and it's used as a bath salt you put in your bathtub and soak in. And that soaking increases the cell respiration. You tend to sweat. The chelation effect, the fulvic acid is readily absorbed by the cells, chelates heavy metals. And then the humic acid, the black stuff in the bath water, can pull those toxins out and complex them so that they're not going to be in the environment. So you have two, two things going on here. You, ha you have chelation effect and you have the complexion effect. In other words, the, the, the low molecular weight gets into the cells, chelates out the, the, these heavy metals and pesticides or deactivates them. Uh, and then the humic acid tends to suck them out, let's say, or draw them out. And uh, <clears throat> it's been used as a traditional remedy um, for, for centuries. Or eons. Uh, the ancient Greeks used mud baths, peat baths, They're widely used in Europe and spa therapy. It's the same principle. It's humic substances, beneficial, reducing pain from arthritis and other conditions when you soak in using the humusoak. Humusoak is just a simple, cheap way of duplicating the European spa therapy that uses humic mud or clay or peat, specifically peat which is done all over Eastern Europe, Western Europe, and, and other areas, even in the U.S. I mean, you can get a mud bath at a good spa. And, and the effect is, the humic substances, you can do it in your own bathtub at home. The other product is dechlorinate, which is used to add to your bath water to get rid of the chlorine before you put your humus soak in and soak in it, because chlorine is a negative thing. It's a toxin to DNA and... Uh, cells so <clears throat> we need to get rid of that so we add a little bit of the dechlorinate to the water yeah, and then add your humic substance and soak in it so this is a very complex subject there's a lot of information on our website you can get into the members only area which is a lot of technical data all you have to do is email us for a password uh, and there's a lot of information on our website and unfortunately the truth cannot be told um, because of regulations and a, a really suppression of, of truthful information. But the internet has got a lot of information on fulvic acid and humic substances. And there's a lot of scientific papers and documentation. You can easily figure it all out. And the bottom line is we have the product. It is the pure product. It has the bioactive effect. It's prescribed and recommended by practitioners nationwide and even in Europe and has a reputation as an effective product. And many people have said they've tried just about everything out there and this is the only thing they could really tell a difference and that's what's kept it going. And can 1.25 billion people be wrong? The Chinese it's used in clinical practice in China, produced in hospitals in China it's in an injectable form and other forms. It's an important part of Chinese medicine for a huge number of people. 
and the data that I've got from China is pretty clear on what it does. There's many, many studies. For instance, uh, we had the research study translated into English for both agricultural uses and health uses. Just some of the me medical applications in China, some of the research. Um, a, a broad topic here, research of the development of the medicinal application of fulvic acid in China. Here's one report on 10 case studies of the treating of thyroid tumor with fulvic acid. Another one, observation on the use of sodium fulvate as a blood coagulant. Thera uh, therapeutic effects of sodium fulvate on cornea, ulcer, and bleeding eye disease. And that'd be like bloodshot eyes. Comparative observation of 289 cases using fulvic acid and 50 case studies using renatidin therapeutic results. So that's using a human substances or fulvic acid in conjunction with chemotherapy with effective results. Uh, therapeutic effects of sodium fulvate, which is fulvic acid, on epidemic fever. Here's one on uh, therapeutic effect on sodium fulvate solution on children with recurring flu. Clinical result of inhaling sodium fulvate in treating cases of acute bronchitis. And many, many other things like circulation, research on the effects of fulvic acid on microcirculation. So the Chinese have taken this pretty far, and we haven't because we have a different theory of medicine and a different motivation. But this is a classical Chinese medicine. It's effective and lots of information. So check out our website if you have any questions to get back to us. And uh, good health.